good afternoon YouTube, Ice587 here bringing you a video on um, my solar setup uh, just a few updates that I've made and uh, I shall go through them now quickly for you ok uh, first things first I'll show you, I've added the uh, 12 volt socket for the solar panel connection so rather than running the wire through the hole that I had in the first video um, I've upgraded that um, I've also changed the socket on the side here as the one I had uh, when you put um, the, the uh, USB plug in if you knocked it or it twisted, the whole bracket was twisting inside rather than just the, uh, the USB plug. So I've changed that and it's uh, now nicely bolted and mounted and won't move whatsoever. Again, has a uh, rubber bung on it, so um keeps anything, any crap from getting inside. Um, also then I've bought a um, cigarette light socket, connected that to the wire for my solar panel. So that makes it nice and easy to disconnect and reconnect uh, as and when it's needed. Um, and also if you can probably have noticed I've changed all the wiring um, just to this white cable with it's got uh, two wires running through it and um, keeps it just looking a bit neater and neat and tidy um, I haven't added in the second socket down here because what I've found is even without the solar panel connected you can still get voltage through the load panel um, from the batteries so I'm debating whether to actually add it or not um, but yeah, you know, it works fine um, getting power from the batteries through the charge controller. So, you know, I probably won't even bother adding a second socket. Um, I know for a fact that it does take power just from the sun because um, last week I disconnected the batteries from the system and had literally just the solar panel, the charge controller, and the socket, no batteries connected, and um, it, it charged my phone perfectly fine. Um, and as I've just said, obviously. No solar panel chart, no solar panel connected. Um, plug in my phone and it still works fine. So it's obviously taking power from the batteries. So that's a good thing. Um, I've got a strap here as well that I got. Um, it came from the uh, 99p store, and uh, that is just to connect the solar panel to the case when it's uh, you're transporting it and moving it around. Um, as you can see on the top here, I've added some just some little hooks just to sit the solar panel on. Um, also, I've added a, um, a lock to the front of the case here, just so I can lock it all up. Um, there is a, a, on the back of the solar panel, there's these little screw holes where you can mount your panel. Um, if I ever put it all outside, I can chain it all up. So I can put the padlock through that, chain to there, uh, close this up, and I chain it to this as well. So it's all chained up together, nothing can be nicked. You know, taken away when you're camping, whatever, you can just, you know, chain it to your car or something like that. Uh, so, you know, it's not going to get pinched. Um, I'm just going to put my camera down and I shall show you how it all uh, folds up and puts itself together properly uh, for when you're transporting it. So first things first, lay our batteries down. And close the lid up. Stand it up, turn it around, so I've got the hooks on the front here. So panel, just sit that on the hooks. Uh, which just doesn't really matter too much about how. Undo the clip. Strap around here. Do the clip up and that sits on there. If I just turn this round, um, all I do with this cable is just tuck it down in here, and there you go. So the cable's neatly tucked down the back. Uh, obviously, you'll put a um, padlock through here. That's going to keep all that neatly done, dusted, and then look, as you can see, nicely portable. Uh, can carry it around easily. Makes your setup quite nicely, and uh, as you can obviously see. You can still get to your socket, so you can still use it when it's in this state, and it's set up like this. Um, nicely, nice bit of kit. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, if I add anything else to it or um, change it around a bit, I'll add another video. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, any comments or? Uh, feedback that you might have, any ideas, just let me know and uh, they're always welcome. Thank you very much.